Dartmoor pony has been a symbol of Dartmoor National Park since 1951 when it was established. Back then, there were 30,000 ponies on the moor, but since then, their numbers have dropped dramatically. They're absolutely vital to maintain the wilderness here. So what went so wrong 10 years ago that they were being sold two for a pound? The herds of wild ponies that have roamed Dartmoor for centuries could start to disappear because of a collapse in the price they fetch at market. People with a lot of ponies will just shoot them and put them in a big pit. I mean, there's literally nothing else we can do with the Dartmoor ponies. There's only a certain limit to the amount that we can sell for people for um, riding ponies. I mean, the rest we have to have a meat trade for. And if there's no meat trade, I'm afraid there'll be no Dartmoor ponies on Dartmoor anymore. Nearly 10 years on, Drew Butterfield is one of the many breeders still trying to turn around the pony's fate in a constantly changing world. Live export has been banned, so we no longer have that, that French lucrative export market. We, you know, pony numbers decreased as the, the number of uses for the ponies decreased. Mm. We had coal mining, we had Shetland ponies that were brought down, they were bred with the, the, um, the Dartmoor ponies, they produced a really good pit pony, but of course we no longer have coal mining. Sure. Some you know, 50, 60 years ago there was around 30,000 ponies on Dartmoor, that mm. has crashed down to around 1,600 of all the types of ponies that you'll find here on the commons. And the, the heritage stock, we've probably got around 400 breeding mares left on the commons of Dartmoor now. So I would say that's a pretty critical situation. Historically, several types of pony have lived on the moor, but Drew specialises in the iconic bay or brown ones, which she's branded the heritage pony. The key to safeguarding their future is to increase their market value. So Drew promotes heritage stock as the ideal grazer for conservation land. She sold five mares to the National Trust and Teambridge District Council in South Devon and their wardens have come to her farm at Belliver to learn how to handle them. These wild ponies have only just come in off the moor, so everyone is on tenterhooks. Yesterday morning, she came in untouched. For the first time ever, she'd never first, been handled? Never. Wow. There's a fine balance between handling and stressing a wild pony. A sudden kick could result in serious injury. Even direct eye contact could spook them. What we want to do with this little pony is work this morning on just being able to touch her, but we don't want to over-tame her. Because this is maybe a pony we have to worm, and if we've got to worm them, we've got to be able to hold them here, and we've got to put something in her mouth. Now, try, don't let her do that to you. Right. So She's what just got rid... Keep... Try and leave your hand there. Shorten your The rope site up. they're going to is a very public site. A lot of dog walkers, a lot of people that will be out there enjoying sort of walks on the coast. Mm -hmm. And people can't resist feeding a pony. And if you start feeding a pony, it's, it's not good news. So we want these ponies to retain their wariness, but at the same time, we have to be able to administer routine care. Yeah. But you can see we've got all the guys here learning how to work with the ponies. Mm -hmm. And together, we, we've, we're setting them up to win. Do you want to kind of have a feel of what it feels like yeah. to, to actually because it's, it's a bit different to just going up to a domesticated horse. So I try and stay calm. Yeah, you stay the calm. Pony calm. If you're calm, the pony will be calm. If she does anything reactive, well, we'll just deal with it. It's amazing because they're sort of so small, you'd expect them to be a little bit vulnerable, really, but they're tough as no, old boots, aren't they? They really are. <laughs> It's been a nerve-wracking day at Belava for both the wardens and the ponies. But tomorrow will be the true test when they attempt to move them to their new home. OK, just keep your eyes down and we'll just let them drive them through. Oh, goodness. OK, Ellie, you stay and you keep that strong. Right, OK. Got it. Yeah, it's three <laughs>